Hey, New Life City, it's my distinct honor to make an announcement today, a very special announcement about something that we're doing uh, for the season of Lent. But first, before I do that, I want to tell you guys that uh, uh, as Alan, Pastor Alan talked about in church this weekend, um, the historical observance of Lent in the church um, is that the period from Ash Wednesday through Easter Sunday uh, is traditionally the period of fasting, but that's not a 40-day fast. That period encompasses 46 days. So what that means is uh, the six Sundays in the season of Lent are considered feast days. So how that breaks down is if you choose to fast something or you know whatever, whatever the Lord puts on your heart, uh, you will be fasting from Monday through Saturday. But on the Lord's Day, Sunday, you will observe the feast day. So you're able to break your fast, enjoy things with your family. And, uh, and so that's, that's how we're going to be observing it. So my announcement is about a devotional that uh, the staff and the pastors, the pastors and elders have worked on. Very excited about this. This is a, a little pocket-sized uh, devotional book. It's a 40-day devotional by the pastors and elders of New Life City, and it's called Praying Through Word and Spirit. Now, everyone in the church is going to get a copy of these. We're going to pass these out to all the adults uh, and the youth. Um, we, we ordered enough copies for everyone to get one. And uh, we're going to be going through this together during the season of Lent. So uh, the concept behind this book, this happened back in the fall of 2016. We were sitting together as pastors talking through some dreams and some plans when Pastor Allen announced his prayer initiative that he wanted to roll out for uh, basically six months, starting at the beginning of 2017 and going uh, actually a little bit before 2016 ended and, and rolled into 2017 and uh, concluding at Easter time. So the, uh, the design behind the prayer initiative is to just call the church into a, a place of prayer, uh, especially in a, in a time of, of transition in our church, in our city, in our nation, in the world. There's a whole lot of different uh, transitions happening. And so uh, Pastor Allen's desire was for us to be a church uh, who understood the times and who walked with the spirit of wisdom and, and, and revelation, spirit of understanding. And so... Uh, his his initiative was to get the church pulled in and praying in all kinds of different ways. So we've been doing pre-service prayer for a while. In a, in a few weeks, we're going to start uh, Wednesday night prayer. Um, and then on, on Lent, the, the start of Lent, which is March 1st, which coincides with the start of our Cultivate Revival Conference, we're going to start this devotional as a church. So every day, you get to go through this book, and you have a devotional. And what we decided to do was find... Uh, prayers in the scriptures. So these are prayers prayed by Moses or Paul or David or, you know, the whole gamut throughout the scriptures uh, from Genesis to um, to the end of the book. Uh, I don't know if we have a Revelation scripture in here. I don't think we do. But anyway, what we do is uh, we find all these good things in here, these scriptural prayers. Uh, the book has a scripture passage to start the devotional. Then we have a little bit of context uh, telling you, the reader, what is going on in this passage. For example, uh, King Saul, jealous of David's popularity and in fear of a, of a rival to his throne, pursued David with murderous intent. This is a psalm of David as he fled from King Saul and had hid in a cave, and that's the uh, context for Psalm 57. So we provide the context, we provide the scripture, and then uh, one of the staff members or elders have written uh, the daily devotional for each day. So in addition to the pastoral staff, the other elders, uh, Joan Christie, Steve Carlson, Hugh Floyd, contributed to this book. This will only take you a few minutes a day, and uh, we're also going to have a video to coincide with the, da the daily devotional that will be posted each day through our, our media, our, our social, social media and our website. So uh, we just wanted to let you know, be you looking for this, the next two weekends we're going to be passing this out during um, during church. So when people come in through the doors, we'll be having these books available starting this weekend and the following weekend. So make sure you get your books uh, before uh, we start on March 1st, and uh, we'll, we'll be going through this together. Um, I just got to say, uh, I really love how the, the, the book turned out, both the content and the, and the design of it. Ben did a great job designing the cover, and uh, yeah, we're, we're very excited to uh, get this into your hands. I also want to say that if you are not a part of New Life City, but you follow us, you, you live out outside of the state or the area or even outside the country, uh, we are going to make this available online through, uh, I believe, through Amazon. But we'll get you more details on that as the, uh, as the day gets closer. So 
anyway, this is coming. Be ready for this this weekend and the, and the following weekend, whichever weekend you're able to come and grab a copy for yourself so we can take this journey together during the season of Lent. Thank you, guys. God bless.